and I'm just I, I see like an old man walking towards me, and I was like, oh, it's my grandpa. We call him Appa. So I was like, oh, Appa, what are you doing? And then, like, something my like my spine tingles, cause I was like, oh, I was like, Appa went to the party this time. My grandpa actually went to the party. He didn't stay home. <laughs> What's good, everyone? Welcome to the Posted Podcast. I am the Postman. We got Mo Martinez, Brose, and Lo. On today's episode, more ghost stories. More. They're just ghost stories. There's so much of it. So you know, we got to break the episode <laughs> into like three different ones. Um, they have to be the best type of stories. Oh yeah. yeah I mean, so, we've got um, so many stories on deck. Yeah. Deck. So, uh, Brose here. We got something to do. Oh, yeah, I got do something. I got a good story. Go ahead. This is what this is what made me believe in ghosts like crazy. This is what confirmed it for me. Um. So, we were going to this party, right? So it's my grandma's house, and then we live in a garage. Me and my family in the back. Uh, but they would leave their house open if we want to get some ice from the fridge or whatever. That was here or in like Mexico. It was, I was back in SoCal. SoCal. Okay. Yeah. Um. My grandma's house still to this day. Um, we, we all went to this party, big old party, but my grandpa was very kind of antisocial. He just like, he just never liked to go to parties, this and that. Um, so one day we came back early from the party, me and my family, and my mom said, go get some ice. And I was probably 10 years old, maybe 10. And I went to go get ice, and uh, I heard something in the hallway. It's like a easily 15, 20 feet long hallway. Um, and uh, I go over there, and I'm just, I, I see like an old man walking towards me. And I was like, oh, it's my grandpa. We call him Appa. So I was like, oh, Appa, what are you doing? And then, like, something, my like my spine tingles, because I was like, Oh. I was like, Appa went to the party this time. My grandpa actually went to the party. He didn't stay home. He usually does. He but... usually stays home, so I was like, oh, it's Appa. And then, like, as he got close, that wasn't my grandpa. It was this old man, like, walking towards towards me. Oh, no. I've never ran so fast in my life. Like You never run. <laughs> that's what made me hate running low-key, bro. <laughs> The ice stayed in the, the ice stayed in the tray. Let me tell you that, bro. Oh, that no. coke was still icy. Um, but yeah, but I saw this old man. I just like freaked out because I was like, my grandpa actually went to the party, so that ain't him. And he, so 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 he didn't come home with you guys. He stayed at the no. Party. He stayed at the party. Yeah. So that's why I freaked out. Like I had a little moment. Like I was like, oh shit. You don't you don't think he uh like when you guys went home, he also just came home like after you guys. No, I know he would have came home with my with my grandpa for sure. We would have saw the truck, and then like I'm telling you, like, cause it's a long hallway in the dark, and when he was getting closer and closer, I was like, oh, that's not my grandpa, bro. Cause my grandpa wore a big old sombrero, same white button up, um, just little boots, and this guy was not. Like I just remember it was an old man. I remember it was an old man, and that's all I needed. And I booked it. <laughs> just some, just some dude. Like, nope. But it turns out both of my uncles seen the same person in that house. Oh. So it's not like it was just me. I, yeah, we both saw that. Hmm. So that confirmed that confirmed ghost for me. Like, like I'm not crazy. Like, I believe in it, hundred percent. But before that, when I was young, my grandma's house haunted as shit, bro. Right. Like, <laughs> like, like haunted as shit. We would not sleep there. Like, it, it's just ridiculous how crazy. It's and then, activity. yeah, like crazy. Oh. And then, um, so when I was younger, um, we went to Mexico. And um, I don't know if you guys know what duentes are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So a lot of them have like different stories about little duentes, guys. right? Yeah, little mm. little guys. They say they look like elves, this and that, little leprechauns. And the first time was, I was in the kid cl- height. You said like kid height, yeah. Oh, so okay. like three feet, four three feet, feet tall. three feet, yeah. Like brother Jose, like, uh, young brother Jose, <laughs> young stunner, young stunner. 
So basically, uh, I was in my room. This was after Mexico. And um, I was looking in the closet, and I was talking like, in the closet, to the closet. And then, You're uh, talking to the closet? Well, I was talking to the duente. Oh. But my mom just said, what are you doing? Because like, there's nothing there. Only I can see it. Oh, no. So I'm like talking to him. And then like my mom freaks out, and I was like, well, he's right there. Don't you see him? So oh. I'm, I'm like talking. Did, and then, you, did you know you were talking to him, or you just like randomly just started talking to him? Uh, I just started talking to him. Like, like, what's up, bro? How you doing? Like, yeah, I was young. I was mumbling, bro. My speech was trash back then, but like, <laughs> I mean, it still is. But. Yeah, it's a nose, bro. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we. I would talk to clo- like in the closet, basically. And then my grandma was the first one to believe it right away. She's like, "Oh, this guy is." Oh, just got the like. He's seen Duentes. Was, my grandma's like my biggest believer. She's like, "Oh yeah, he's he's talking to Duentes." Oh. So I would be in the bathroom, and mom would hear me. Uh, playing with them like or just talking in the bathroom having fun because it'd be in there like oh. yeah like oh shit <laughs> yeah and then like this went on as, since I was a kid and then they said like if you go to Mexico then Duentes could latch on to you yeah and that's right around the same age I started seeing them uh, but luckily like they say there's good ones there's bad ones you had a good one I had the good ones no, like no harm was done to me yeah, because they wanted to get to the U.S. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they got to the U.S. Bro, got... I, I had a joke ready. I was going to say, bro, like, as soon as you cross over, like, yeah. you ain't got no green card. Yeah, they, were... <laughs> they were gone, bro. You took my joke, man. <laughs> yeah. Bro, they were... I was ready. I was thinking of it. Great lines. Bro, as soon as you cross, he's going to stay back. No, they were good, but then it started with one, and then it would be a couple. Oh. And then, like, no me and my oh. sister would sleep in bunk beds. So, so one of them in each. Bed. Yeah, so my sister would be top. on top, I'd be on the bottom, and then like one I would, on top, one on the bottom. I would hear them on top. Hello, and my sister sleeping in the bed. Yeah. yeah, like you know um, what? For some reason, yeah, you saying that you just hearing them yeah. to me is more scary than oh, you talking to them. Yeah. Just like you're just. Oh, I'd be laying in bed like chilling alone, and then my sister right. would be Both at my cousin's. Be quiet. <laughs> you would hear the top creaking. Oh, Someone was laying there. Stop. That's for me. I don't know why. That's oh, creepier. Yeah, that's yeah than, than you talking to them yourself. Yeah, like that's how. Like my sister would be at a sleepover and you hear the top just creaking. They wouldn't say anything. Just clapping cheeks. Just never talk. Just clapping yeah. cheeks on the top yeah, bunk. They, they, you they never talked, bro. They were quiet as hell. I think last time I saw them was easily. What? What did I say? Twenty-two. <laughs> no, not twenty-two. Probably. Yeah, I'd probably say like eight years ago. I saw all of them out on the street. That's 22. Huh? That's 22. 10 years ago? Eight. You said eight. You said eight. Oh, around eight years ago. Well, something, something like that. I can't remember exactly when. That's nuts. But I saw them all like, I'd parked my car. I was already driving. So I had to be, yeah, 20. Just chilling there? At least 20 I had to be. And I didn't see them for years. And I was like, oh, cool. Like, yeah, they're, they're gone. They had Bro, kids. They, were, they had a family. There was 50 out on the street. What? Get out of just, here. Just post it on the block. Yeah, just on the street. <laughs> and that's when I started freaking out. I was like, fuck, I'm going to start seeing them again. Why didn't you take a picture of Post it through that. I wanted to see. I wanted to see. Oh, to see that? Yes. You wouldn't, I don't think you'd be able to. No. Because the first time I saw it legit, it was like me where Lalo's at. You know what? You, and my sh- you should right take a picture of them anyways. Yeah. To oh, see I'm that, cool. like, you, you show us, and then we see nothing and see if you still you see, them see them in the photo. Oh, why would I do that stupid shit, bro? I'm not, trying see, <laughs> not trying to see him at all, bro. So I don't want to see him at all. What do you think? This is a movie, bro? No, no, I used man. to talk to him. I know. Yeah, but that was young me, bro. I'm old now. I don't want to talk to nobody. Young that Jose. Here, bro. That's spirits, bro. Tell me about it. Yeah, I don't want I'm cool. You think I like this? Your, that, your powers are your powers. Wait, hey. He's like, oh, to each their own. Yeah, no, I, I enjoy my powers. I wasn't that. trying to. I'm cool. I enjoy my powers. I enjoy I went my to, special gift. Yeah, when I was a kid, I'd, I'd go see, we'd go see a healer, because my grandma and my aunt would, like, hype me out. They're like, oh, he can see shit. <laughs> like, he, he has a third eye, he can if see If somebody it. ever did that to me, my mom, bless her heart, she was the person that would rally for me. There's yeah. so many people that'd be like, what the fuck is wrong with your daughter? Yeah. But yeah, she's special. <laughs> yeah, I was special. <laughs> I had to drink vinegar. 
Ew, what the hell? Like straight out of a bottle, like, and then spoons of vinegar, because supposedly that would cleanse me. Did you throw up? <laughs> yeah. So what does this do? Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> vinegar is just, what do you mean? Oh, what did it do? No. Fuck, it tastes nasty. Like, Dude, that's what that I'm means saying. you hate pickles, right? I hate pickles. <laughs> like, you pickles are pasta. fucking gross. You know I was like, I took a shot right before, just pickle juice. That's crazy. No, nah, it was vinegar, bro. It was oh, crazy. Yeah. Just... No, it's different. Pickle juice is different than vinegar. Got my cards read when I was young. Like, we went to this sketchy oh, place. Oh, that's, like... that's where the one this came from. That's, yeah. yeah. Like, it was... You can't just get your cards That's why you had 50 of them pull up on you. What up, cut? They soft, bro. They didn't nothing. You, you got you got a you got a Lalo. He got Pokemon cards. Yeah, he ain't nothing. Bro. He came to me. And it's like, bro, God, why I got Blastoise? In the <laughs> you you got my boy Charizard. My no, boy Charizard. They're too scary, bro. But that's probably why the reason I hate Chucky. Chucky's, oh, because uh, Chucky is same size as them bitches, bro. Yeah, facts. the size. Yeah. So size yeah. um, matters. My cousin uh, supposedly saw them. Shout out to Charles Lee Ray. <laughs> Fuck Charles Lee Ray, bro. <laughs> and all of them. Um, she supposedly saw the bad ones. Like, there's a story oh, uh, behind her that she was, she was in bed. Your sister? Uh, cousin. Cousin. Same age as my sister, though. And she was probably like, it was, it was, yeah, it was one of my cousins. She got, uh, her belly scratched the fuck up oh, by the dentist. So that's how we know there's two different types. Like her belly was all scraped up, supposedly. Poor thing. I think my um my cousin on the Duendes, I think she might have seen some when she was little. I honestly I don't I, I just know the story. I wasn't there. My my sister was there. Or my mom's youngest sister. I call her my sister. We're same in age, close in age. Mm-hmm. Um, but I remember her telling us that she was so fucking freaked out because my cousin was at the corner of her bed like this, like scared looking at the freaking closet do you see that they're right there looking at me and my sister was like bitch what the fuck are you talking about what's looking at it's looking at you they're not green. at me they're green they're, there was like little green men and ugh, i think about it little toy soldiers yeah i don't know but they they're were like green and they were small and she was Leprechaun. freaking out because she was look, she was seeing them and she's like to this day i remember uh, very vividly that i was seeing that i was definitely seeing that oh, my like, yeah, god i wish i would have been there because I would have been like, what's up? What you got? <laughs> what you claim? What's up, guys? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what you claim? I ain't gave me no ghost, bro. Milk. <laughs> I'm out, bro. Yeah, I'm I've fighting. never seen anything. I've no, never no experienced ghost. anything. I've never felt anything. Oh. I've always just like heard, heard stories yeah. from like my mom, my uncle. Like, uh, For example, my uncle and my mom have seen the same lady in the white dress mm. like at two in the morning. Mm-hmm. Uh I think also one time there was like a kid crying. Like, oh, you that know, has it, to be the scariest. Like in the kitchen. <gasps> yeah. In the kitchen? Yeah. Oh, God. Like, bro, I'm just trying to go make a sandwich. A kid, oh, no, that's a kid ghost. ghost has to Corona. be the scariest type of ghost. No. Little I feel kids like I have a little kid that follows me a lot. I have actually like a number of people that follow me. I have um, I have a spirit guide that, that I communicate with. Uh, this is like I'm now, now I'm gonna get a little bit more tech- technical, and then I have about seven angels that come around very often, and they're always with me. So I, I like literally I'm rolling with the posse. It's a gang right there. And um, there's like a little kid that will fo- like for a while he would follow me, but I think he's more or less attached to my mom yeah. because I see him more at my mom's house. Oh, I'm sorry. And That's every now crazy. and then he would just be sitting there edge of the bed and i'd be like "Mm -mm. all right little timmy i don't know what your name is but you ain't doing this we ain't having it but he would um very much play with the kids while they were there my mom was babysitting my brother's kids and this play with the kids kids? he would play with them fuck that like would they play back or is Um, this just him like also there i would see him because i would send him there and then i would see kind of like the little ball just rolling around and sometimes you hear the kids running and they're napping. I'm like, oh, that's your little friend, mom. And she goes, oh man, yeah. And they, Hella he, nonchalant. No, because he hasn't. He it hasn't happened so much. That you're just. He's like, not mischievous. He's just like in his own world, and he doesn't bother. But he doesn't bother me. But sometimes yeah. when I felt him at night, where I'm like, yo, kid, you better chill, because 
I'll see you and you, I ain't having it. You can go to the living room, yeah. actually. No. <laughs> Here's and, a pillow. Yeah, I would sleep with my door closed and my mom would always get scared because she's like, when, which, when my door would be left open, she would tell me, I'm just so terrified to see you one day in your room and to see you just fucking levitating. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, you told me that once. <laughs> <laughs> your mom told to you. To this day, she always gets scared and I do talk in my sleep a lot. And Wait, she saw you levitate? Or no, she, she, she's hoping she, she doesn't was, see. Yeah, she okay. would get scared because she'd be like, I'm going to turn one day and see your ass levitating. I'm going to close my eyes and just set your back down. Like, <laughs> Uh, yeah, my worst nightmare was like watching The Exorcist. Like nope. I said, we had bunk beds. It. Nope, nope. Oh, bunk you know beds? They're doing a reboot. Yeah. Nope. I we're, can't wait for it. We're, no. all, we're all gonna watch nope. it. Oh. Nope, nope. I the reboot. That is the yeah. one. The thing, reboot. That is the one thing I cannot justify watching because I've seen shit like that. Oh, so I've should be actually solid. seen shit you like that. You should be that. solid. Well, no. You should be good. You're trained. No. Bring your ghost friends. It's all good. No. Chill, chill out. Bring the past. All no. seven of them. All se- eight. Eight. Eight, that's a, that's eight a in total. That's a whole video. That's a Sneak lot. No, I can't. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. It's the reboot. It's that's not the, the original. The original? I, don't, I think it's... Okay, wait. I'll give you that. The original, I don't know what it is, but I think something about like the movies in the eighties were a lot more scarier to me. All the characters were, all the actors were actually ugly. Yeah, no, but it was really fucking ridiculous. <laughs> so it held. Like, I think... What was it? Um, Pet Cemetery. To this day, I'm like, Ugh. I've like, never seen the original. I saw the remake. I saw no, the remake. No, no, no. It was alright. I saw the original and I was terrified. I want to play with you, little kid. Ugh, scary. And in, in, in the original Exorcist, uh, I remember years ago. I, I watched this video on them talking about like, like the stuff that happened off camera. Yeah. Oh, yep. That's like, why. I'm yeah. Like, you don't fuck with that. Yeah. I don't fuck with that. Like it's just too, it hits. I saw that way movie too when I was close like to home. Seven. The beginning was pretty. Good. The Exorcist, the beginning, I think it was called, when they were in the caves. Oh yeah. I remember my aunt was watching it in the living room, and that's when the guy was like inside the cave, and the Exorcist person just started crawling towards him. That to me has to be the scariest scene. To me, it's of, just like, too close, Exorcist. too close to home. You know what movie y'all gotta watch? It's a home video for you, girl. Nah. Pray, pray for the devil. <laughs> I haven't seen. That I haven't yet. seen it yet. That's seen a that. good movie. Bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I started and I bitched out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. No, it's about this girl who, like, her mom was possessed when she was younger, and then she grows up and she like becomes a nun and she's going to school for it, whatever. And spoilers, spoilers. She's no, no, no. I'm not gonna spoil it. She's like sneaking into like uh, exorcist class or exorcism classes, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Courses at on on campus, and like the the head priest for like for that department of like exorcism and stuff he sees her sneak in sneak in and he doesn't say nothing he's hella cool like he lets yeah. her just sit in the back yeah. until like he gets caught and he'll be like hey you gotta get out or whatever right yeah. you don't get the credits but then yeah. um but yeah facts you're not gonna get the credits <laughs> but then without spoiling it like there's a she's basically told like oh like nuns are supposed to be like nurses and stuff like that yeah. and help people there and like one of the guys that she's helping ends up like uh getting possessed so then like the priest vouches for her like yo like she gotta she gotta learn this shit at least enough to protect herself yeah. right yeah. and so it, it but it's it's dope like y'all gotta y'all gotta mm. watch it bro it's fucking it's fucking dope I, I keep forgetting to watch it the last one i saw was uh barbarian barbarian was so dope you know what part i like well, yeah. have you seen it well Go ahead, you can tell me. <laughs> no, uh, without spoilers, there's the scene at the beginning where uh, the girl, the, the main character, she's she's sleeping, and the door opens. Yeah. That part, just that the whole build up, just just that it's so such a small scene, but it's just it's the way it was so, built up. Yeah. The way I can agree with yeah, that. It's Hell just yeah. you know the music, just everything like because nothing happens. The zoom. That's all it is. Yeah. It's That's just all it is. It's just the door opening. I'm like this. Yeah. <laughs> he's, like, I don't he's really hear. like that. No, I know. I'm probably the same way. No, I love seeing it. I can look at. It. I, just, I can only see I some of it, scares. and then like my thumbs are in my ear. That's my. <laughs> That's how <laughs> fun. Like yeah. no, nope, we ain't having it. But I'm gonna see some of it. Yeah. Thank you everyone for watching another episode of the Posted Podcast. I am the Postman. We got Mo Martinez, Brose, and Low. Follow us on Instagram. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay posted.